Okay, quick recap. Bagheera no-sailed in the auction ring, so I went up to the guy afterwards and made a deal and bought him. So then I took him to my trailer to take him to his new home at Free Spirit Farm. And you can check out the auction video. The link is in the description to see the full story. He loaded really, really well, and then we made it home. Okay, we're getting ready to unload him. You're safe now, Bagheera. You're at home. So I'm putting him in a single paddock and he has a run-in stall. So that will be great for tonight. And I'm gonna take his auction sticker off right now. Yay. Time to get this icky halter off and I'm gonna throw it right in the garbage. <laughs> he's super thirsty and he's trying to get to the water because there was no water or hay in his stall at the auction. Okay Poor guy. Okay There's a little ledge he has to step over to go outside, so he's trying to figure out what to do. Little sweetie. Okay, I'm gonna let him settle in and I will check on him in the morning. Hey, horse lovers. So it's the next morning. I'm getting ready to go out and see Bagheera, so I can't wait to show you more of him. Hey, buddy. Hi. 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 How you doing? Also, don't forget to hit that like button to support Bagheera and other auction horses that I may find. So as you can see here, he has some missing hair like where the halter was. It's almost like it was too tight on his face. And But then they did a clip job and they shaved his forelock off too. So um, we'll work on that piece. But yeah, so right now he's in a smaller paddock with a run install. And I'm going to open this gate so that he can go into a larger area. I just didn't want him to have too huge of an area um, to figure out like last night in the dark. So uh, I'm going to give him a little bit of grain. He's getting some essential K, just a super small amount so that he can adjust. And he seems happy. So he has this large paddock, the other one as well, and then a run install. Yeah, so he can stretch his legs out a little bit. It's been crazy, like muddy, freezing, and then snowing, ice. Like it's been nuts, but it's not too bad right now. So he has plenty of space so that he can acclimate. And yeah, he's doing good. So the paddocks that he's in right now are my quarantine paddocks. So any new horse that comes here is over here for anywhere from one to three weeks, just depending. And I'll talk a little bit more about that. So he seems to be settling in pretty well, so I'm super happy. He's gonna be in quarantine for about two weeks. Um, he's not showing signs of anything, so that's really good, but I just wanna be safe. So right now he's just exploring his new paddock area and I'm glad that he's walking around stretching out his legs. He was dehydrated. I saw him urinate and it was like super dark. So I'm glad that he's drinking out of the big trough. Of course he had water last night too. Um, but I put a heater in the trough so that it doesn't ice over anything. And yeah, he seems to be really quiet. He does seem to be a little confused, um, but I think he's happy and I know that once he figures out where he's at and that he's gonna be so loved and cared for, he's gonna be over the moon. I love him. Okay, so I'm running into Tractor Supply real quick because Bagheera, he has some bot fly eggs on his leg, so I'm gonna get the scraping remover and then just get a few other things. So I got my farm dog, Koa, What's with up? me, and then I have my farm husband, so we're gonna have fun. <laughs> okay, so I'm getting him the fiberglass bot fly remover so it gets rid of the eggs off his legs and then ivermectin just to make sure he doesn't have any worms. Okay, I went in the house to eat lunch and this is the view from my porch so I can kind of keep an eye on him. <laughs> I'm gonna go back out and check on him. 
He's such a kind, heartwarming soul, and that's really what attracted me to him, is he's just so gentle-natured, and just look at his sweet eye. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you're excited to see his adventure. Bye, horse lovers. See you next time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to follow our journey. Thanks, horse lovers.